get into the topic sir so till now we discussed multiplication of any number with 5 multiplication of any number with 25 now we are in multiplication of any number with 125 i'm just getting started with that again just be patient for these things 16 into 125 32 into 125 it can be anything sir it can be anything, any number. But here, intentionally I am taking only the numbers which are multiples of 8 only. Which are multiples of 8 only. So here what I am doing, here I can convert this 125 into 1000 by 8. So divide 8 with 8, 1. Add 3 zeros. Divide 16 with 8, 2. Add 3 zeros. Divide 32 with 8, 4. Add 3 zeros. Divide 72 with 8. 8 nines are 72. Add 3 zeros. So like this, I can I can multiply the given numbers with the, I can multiply the given numbers with the 125 easily. Yes, funny you are right. 2000, 4000, 9000. 2000, 4000, 9000. So here you may raise one question, sir. You may raise one question that is that is what if what if a number is a number is not divisible by 8 so you may ask this question to me for this we have to work out for a few minutes sir of course we can get the answer nothing to worry about the answer sir Nothing to worry about the answer. You can multiply any number with 8, sir, without any doubt, sir. Sorry, any number you can multiply with 125 without any doubt. Please have a look on it. I'm entering to the concept. Yes, Deepak, coming to that point only. Other than multiples of 8, coming to that point only. Nothing to worry, sir. Okay, okay. Just note it down. Make it fast, sir. It's already late because of some technical errors. Alright, I am just clearing this data. I am just clearing this data. Now, let us enter into the depth of this concept now. First, tell me sir, I hope for you, the percentages class is done. If you know the percentages, okay, if not also nothing to worry sir. I am just introducing the concept. Percentage ratios, those are interlinked. I am not getting into the depth of this concept. I just need one thing. I am just discussing about that any ratio you have to convert it into the percentage sir for suppose 1 by 2 by multiplying with 100 you can convert it into the percentage of 50 percentage similarly some 2 by 7 by multiplying with 100 you can convert it into 28.56 like this there are some value in percentages if you are attended the already the class of ajay sir or anil sir on percentages these things are very very clear to you if not if not, here I need only one thing, sir. That is 1 by 8 in terms of percentage. 3 by 8 in terms of percentage. 5 by 8 in terms of percentage. 7 by 8 in terms of percentage. These are my required values, sir. Again, I am repeating. If you have already gone through that uh, percentage class of A and C, you can definitely very, very well aware of these things, sir. <coughs> okay. Okay. Right. So, I am just repeating. Actually, any ratio can be converted to the percentage by multiplying with 100, sir. Any ratio can be converted to the percentage by multiplying with 100. If here I did 1 by 8 into 100, actually I am not writing here, into 100, I will get it as 12.5 percentage. 3 by 8 is 3 times of that. I will get it as... 37.5 percentage 5 by 8 i'll get it as 62.5 percentage 7 by 8 i'll get it as 87.5 percentage means here i can write actually i can write it as 1 by 8 into 100 but for my simplicity i am not mentioning this 100 in any ratio so just to concentrate on these numbers sir one is 2.5 other is 7.5 one is 2.5 other is 7.5 means in this family 
in a family of eight ratios in a family of eight ratios what are eight odd multiples of eight 1 by 8 3 by 8 5 by 8 7 by 8 in the answer it should be 2.5 or 7.5 it should be 2.5 or 7.5 without any doubt sir so nothing to worry about that yes sai prano you gave the right answers you gave the right answers prem kumar the last one it is not 78.5 it should be 87.5 sir please take care of that so if you don't know i'm just going to give a hint to you sir please remember please remember the value of 1 by 8 as equal to 12.5 that is also difficult to to you just think sir what is 1 by 4 sir i hope everyone should know what is 1 1/4 25% so simply half of 1/4 is 1 by 8 if you know 1 by 4 value it is very very easy fraction 1/4 is 25% or we will call it as quarter quarter 1/4 is 25 percentage 1 by 8 is half of that so half of 25 should be 12 and half after that the simple thing is here into 3 here into 5 here into 7 so just to multiply this 12 with 3 12 3 is a 12 3 is a 36 after 36 will you get after 36 i am just extending the concept sir to make it clear i am just writing down here I know, sir. One by eight is twelve and half. I know it is very, very clear. What is three by eight? What I will do? I'll multiply this twelve with three. Twelve three is a thirty-six. I know, but after thirty-six, after thirty-six, because here my hint is in this fractions, the percentage of this fraction there should be only two and half, or it should be only seven and half. So I'm just thinking that twelve three is a thirty-six. After thirty-six. After 36, will you get 32.5 or 37.5? It is a hint to remember. Definitely, it is 37.5. What is 5 by 8? I'll multiply this 5 with 12. 12 5 is a 60. After 60, what is the next to 60? Is it 62.5? Is it 67.5? Why I am writing only these two values, sir? Because in 1 by 8 family. Answer should be in terms of 2.5 or 7.5. So after next to 60, there won't be any 67.5. So I can write it as 62.5. And similarly, the last one I'm just writing here. Last one, 7 by 8. I'll multiply this 12 with 7. 12 7s are 12 7s are 84. After 84, will you get 82.5 or will you get 87.5? Obviously. After 84, it is 87.5. So these are the hints to remember. These are the hints to remember the values of 1 by 8, 3 by 8, 5 by 8, 7 by 8. The values of 1 by 8, 3 by 8, 5 by 8, 7 by 8. So if you know, if you can, if you can remember these numbers. So now I'll enter into the next concept. That is, what if the numbers are not divisible by 8? What if the number is not divisible by 8 then we can now if you know this values sir you can multiply any number with 8 sir previously I just give the numbers which are perfectly divisible by 8 now i can multiply any number with 8 if you are able to remember this number if you are able to remember these values you can multiply any number with 125 So please remember this value, sir. Just have a look on these values for one more time. One by eight is twelve and half. Three by eight is thirty-seven point five. Five by eight is sixty-two point five. Seven by eight is eighty-seven point five. Seven by eight is eighty-seven point five. Now get into the subject. Come to the main concept. I am just clearing this content. Uh, this content. All right. So I am just starting with the same number. Previously, previously, if it is seventy-two into one twenty-five, you multiplied this number with eight. It is cancelling for nine times. There is no remainder. There is no remainder. Zero into one twenty-five. You can assume. Actually, there there was no need to assume that zero because the remainder is zero. Then just write down the three zeros. This was the basic question. Now you are asking me the 
you are asking me that sir if the number is not divisible then what will be the situation you are asking like that let it be sir nothing to worry nothing to worry so let me take a simple example initially sir 66 into 125 similar to the previous case of division multiplication with 25 sir so here no need to worry divide this number divide this number with 8 8 8 are 64 remainder is 2 2 into 125 it is 250 i am giving the next example i am giving the next example if it is i am just taking the next number of that 67 into 125 i hope you can give the answer now divide this number with 8 i know 8 8 are 64 remainder is 3 3 into 125 may be no to you it may be unknown value to you that's why i mentioned it is 3 into 125 means if i am replacing this 125 it will become it will become 3 by 8 sir what is 3 by 8 do you remember sir 37.5 percentage for this purpose i explained that thing sir so 37.5 percentage i can write 3 into 125 as 375 sir Please sir, I am repeating with one more example. Please listen to me carefully. Next example, I am just taking the next number. 69 into 125. For even number it is a little bit easy sir. For odd numbers you may struggle. So, now divide this 69. Divide this 69 with 8 sir. 8 8 are 64. Reminder is 5. You may know this, you may not know this. Of course, few members, they may know, they may know it already. So, 125 FISA. For suppose, I don't know this. So, 5 into 125 means it is becoming 5 by 8. What is 5 by 8, sir? According to the previous one, it should be 62.5. Means here, I can write 625, sir. I hope it is clear to you. I hope it is clear to everyone. Now, now i'm just writing one more number now let us answer sir now you can answer any question sir 107 into 125 divide with 8 sir 8 ones are 8 2 is the remainder 27 8 3 is a 24 8 3 is a 24 what is the remainder sir 3 3 into 125 you may know it you may not know it if you don't know treat it as 3 by 8 into 25 means by 8 according to our statements right yes or no yes so 3 by 8 3 by 8 is again 37.5 percentage means here you, you have to write 375 so like this like this irrespective of given number irrespective of given number it can be divisible by 8 it cannot be divisible by 8 but you can get the answer in the end sir but you can get the answer in the end sir so be careful with this sir now i'm going to give some more questions where some numbers are going to multiply with 125 very good divya vamshi krishna rashmi all answers are correct sai pranav yes very good very good gayatri yes so answer my questions now answer my questions i'm just can i remove this content now i'm just giving some more huge numbers sir I'm just remote I'm just going to give the some more huge numbers okay let it be my number 237 into 125 now it is not at all a big deal to me sir any number you can give me I can give you the answer any number you can give me it may be three digit four digit I'll never bother about that sir let it be 438 into 125 I need the answers of these three questions if i are able to answer these three questions i can assume that these three methods are clear to you into 5 into 25 into 125 of any number i need three answers at a time sir please post three answers at a time please post three answers at a time make it fast sir Karna, you may join in the middle of this session, Karna. 
so y divided by 8 125 can be written as 1000 by 8 sir you may be joined just now 125 can be written as 1000 by 8 sir so for that purpose i am dividing by 8 previously 25 i wrote it as 100 by 4 and previously 5 i wrote it as 10 by 2 so like this 125 can be written as 1000 by 8 1000 by 8 most of the members the first first answer is 29625 they are posting few members 29250 29675 29625 okay okay mm -hmm. right <coughs> right right let me solve the questions sir of course many members answer the questions but i need few more answers sir i think not all are active you are just listening to my class yes prem kumar yes right all right let me answer the question sir nothing to worry i'll explain it for one more time so just to concentrate on the question sir what is this sir 237 into 125 divide this number with 8 sir nothing to worry sir so 8 3 is a 24 but only 23 is there so 8 2 is a 16 8 2 is a 16 what is the reminder 7 is the reminder means 77 it will become 77 there is 77 means 8 9 is a 72 8 9 is a 72 5 is the reminder 5 is the reminder so 5 into 125 625 come here it is 129 divide with 8 sir 8 ones are 8 here 8 ones are 8 means 4 is the reminder it will become 49 8 6 are 48 1 is the reminder 1 into 125 125 now come here sir 8 5 are 40 3 is the reminder it will become 38 it will become 38 8 4 are 32 8 5 are 40 so 8 4 are 30 8 fours are 32 so reminder is 6 6 into 125 so it's a even number sir here i didn't explain anything about 6 into 125 because you know it clearly so 6 into 125 or else you can think uh, generally 125 twos are what is 125 twos are sir 250 like this here how many twos are there three are there so into 3 means 750 you can write it directly so it is 54750 it is 54750 please check out your answers sir vijit all of your answers are correct sir very good yes and rajnish all of your answers are correct very good sir thank you so much and uh, Sai Pranav, I think you missed one. In the second answer, you gave it as 1625. It is 16125, sir. Remaining answers are correct. Sai Pranav. Sai Pranav. Please check it out. Please check it out. Okay, I hope this method is clear to everyone, sir. This method is clear to everyone. Now, based on this, based on this, I am just extending this question. I am just extending these questions to the division also, sir. These things are very, very good things. Easy only, but many of the students, they don't know how to use them. Now, any number I am going for division with Pfizer. Any number I am going for division with Pfizer. Before entering to this, please check out. Please check out the rule of into 5 if you know this you can easily understand division with 5 sir if you know the multiplication with 5 if you know the multiplication with 5 you can easily understand the division with 5 sir it's very simple actually Ravi Teja you are asking what if the reminder is 6 I just uh, explained it sir I think your internet connection is slow 6 into 125 means it can be written as 3 into 250 3 into 250 will be 750 
okay okay let us move on to the things sir so just i'll explain this thing one more time sir let me explain these things one more time if it was 23 into 5 if it was 23 into 5 what you did sir divided with 2 sir 2 11s are 22 1 was the remainder 1 1 into 5 5 means can i say can i say here here last number is a result of remainder sir and the first number is a result of coefficient how many times it is getting cancel i am giving one more question i am giving one more question to you sir let me take one more example 37 fiza you divided with 2 sir 18 is 36 remainder was 1 1 into 5 5 i will give one more simple example to you sir 24 into 5 sir 24 of 12 0 so again i can say the same thing to you sir the last number the last number is the result of remainder previously the remainder was 1 so 1 into 5 5 5 so previously the remainder was 1 1 into 5 5 5 here there is no remainder if remainder is 0 0 into anything is 0 so first thing is representing about the coefficient first numbers are representing coefficient last one digit last one digit will represents the last one digit will represents the last one digit will represents the remainder sir now i am just changing it into the division with five sir let me take the same example for suppose if it is 120 by 5 i am taking the same example which i give here okay so 120 into 5 so here you should think that the last number is a result of remainder if there g if it is zero remainder is zero so how you got this 12 sir how you got this 12 well here the coefficient 12 well? by division of some number with 2 by division of some number with 2 you got 12 to, well. to get that original number multiply this number with 2 24 there is no remainder zero 24 plus 0 24 i am using all the examples which i gave to the right side and i am proving it is equal to the left side how will check it out right side number 5 means remainder is 1 first i am writing the remainder 1 here if it is 5 if it is 5 means i know that the remainder is 1 so what i have to do to this 18 sir into 2 why sir previously you got this 18 because of division of some number with 2 to get my original number i have to multiply with 2 18 to 36 36 plus 1 37 if you are thinking about all these things you may get confused sir that for sure so now look at this don't to think anything just to follow my steps just to follow my steps don't to think anything 115 by 5 take the all numbers other than the last digit 11 into 2 22 if it is 5 add 1 if it is 0 don't add anything if it is 5 add 1 if it is 0 don't add anything don't get confused don't think sir what if if it is g if it is not 0 if it is not 5 what can be the situation i'll come into each and everything sir first to concentrate on the important things i am giving one more question here i am giving one more question here don't to think anything sir don't to think anything 235 by 5 leave the last number leave the last number 23 into 2 it is very very clear to me 46 5 means remainder 1 it is 47 but i just want to avoid this step also sir don't write unnecessary steps in examination sir and don't waste your valuable time sir and don't waste your valuable time sir now i am going to extend this concept to four digit to five digit numbers also i am going to extend this concept so before going for that let me give few more examples for your clarification answer the questions answer the questions quickly i need very very quick answers okay 535 by 5 what is the situation 
first two numbers other than 5 count to the two numbers 53 53 2 za what is 53 2 za 106 i just want to okay as of now i'm writing it 53 2 za 106 5 means reminder 1 add 1 answer is 107 but i want to avoid this step sir this individual step i don't need sir in from my next question i'm i'm not going to write this step unnecessarily for suppose next question 645 by 5 don't waste your time sir 64 2 is a 128 5 is there means plus 1 128 plus 1 it is 129 now you can give me any numbers it may be 3 digit 4 digit i'll never bother about that 825 by 5 82 2 is a 164 5 means plus 1 164 plus 1 165 like this like this if it is a zero nothing to worry sir if it is zero nothing to worry about that for suppose i am giving 920 by 5 92 2 za what is that 184 direct answer sir nothing to bother if the unit digit is zero it is much more easy while comparing to where the unit digit is 5 i'll give one more example to you what is 740 by 5 forget about the reminder 74 2 za is 148 that should be your answer like this you have to proceed in division with Pfizer the same concept of previous thing where I divided with 2 here I am multiplying with 2 where the remainder is 0 I just wrote 0 if the remainder is 1 I wrote to 5 now it is a reverse case remainder is 0 last number is 0 let it be 0 last number is 5 it is indicating that the reminder is 1 you have to add that one sir you have to add that one now now i am getting into the next level of this where you may be getting one doubt commonly commonly if this concept is clear you can ask me sir solve this question sir of course you explained very very well but can you please solve this question 126 by 5 where where unit digit is not 0 and unit digit is not a 5 of course it is very rare thing in examination it is very rare thing in examination but we have to work on it that's it we have to work on it if the unit digit is not 0 if the unit digit is not to 5 how to handle the things all right we'll work on it sir why the problem has arrived here because of this six sir if the question is in the form if the question is in the form of 125 by 5 12 to 24 5 means plus 1 answer is 25 it was a beautiful answer to you without thinking without wasting the time am i right sir so here what is the problem because of that six the problem has arrived so remove that one sir it the given thing is 126 by 5 only don't consider that five i'm telling you don't consider this six let it be five only because if it is five my answer is simple so assume it as five answer it 25 what is the reminder one i'm putting point means it will become 10 5 2 is 10 i'm taking one more example I'm taking one more example. What if it is 212 by 5? Don't think about this 2, sir. It is not that much important in examination point of view, but let us know this one also. Don't think about this 2. Assume it as 0 only. If it is 210 by 5 means 21 2 is a 21 2 is a it is 42. Put to point. Point means the 2 will become 20. 5 4 is a 20. Like this, you have to handle the data in examination, sir. Yes, Lokeshwar, Sachin, all got the same answer. Very good, very good. Priya, yes. Balraju, yes. Yes, very good, very good, sir. Last question, last one to two questions I'll give you. Please answer to my question. Answer my questions now. 324 by 5 unit digit is not 0 unit digit is not 5 324 by 5 quick answers i need ma 
I need quick answers. Make it fast. Make it fast. 160.8 ball Raju it's a wrong answer please take care sir 64.8 is the right answer very good Madhuri, Karna, Ramu, Lokeshwar very good very good all of you got the same answer thank you so much because of that 4 the problem has arrived so forget about that 4 assume it as 0 32 to the 64 put the point point means 4 will become 40 5 8s are 40 this will be the direct answer now you you don't have any problem whether the number is perfectly divisible by 5 or it is not divisible by 5 we don't have any problem sir we can multiply any number with 5 you can divide any number with 5 you can multiply any number with 5 you can divide any number with 5 okay sir now multiplication with 25 is done multiplication with 25 is done let us move on to let us move on to division with 25 it's very very important concept sir division of any number with 25 division of any number with 25 again before going for that one more time i just wanted to explain multiplication of any number with 25 I just want to explain multiplication of any number with 25. Jitendra, if you just joined, sorry for that, I can't help you. We are in the middle of our journey. Just try to understand the things. I'll try to help you while explaining the things. Thank you. Right. So, I'll explain one more time the multiplication with 25, sir. I'm taking few simple examples again. Again, I'm taking simple examples. 16 into 25. 16 into 25. Let me explain with a simple example so that I can solve for the difficult numbers. What I thought, sir? What I changed here? 25 can be written as 100 by 4. I just divided this 16 with 4. How many times, sir? four times no reminder means 0 into 25 two zeros i am giving one more example to you i am giving one more example to you 32 into 25 divide this number with four so eight times it is getting cancelled so there is no reminder zero one more example to you 33 into 25 divide with four eight times but reminder is one sir here there was there is some reminder so 1 into 25 that is 25 last example sir last example 34 into 25 divide with 8 reminder is 2 2 into 25 50 like this there may be a reminder of 75 i'll give the reminder of 75 here uh, anything is okay to me 15 into 25 let me take a simple example divide this number with 4 it is 15 into 25. Divide with the, this number with 4. 4 3s are 12. Reminder is 3. 3 into 25 is 75. So from these things I can assume that last two digits. Previously in the division with 5 you assumed the last digit. Here last two digits 0 means reminder is 0. Last two numbers 75 means reminder is 3. Last two numbers 0 means reminder 0. Last two numbers 25 means reminder 1. Last two numbers 50 means reminder is 2. I hope it is clear to each and every one. I hope it is clear to each and every one. Yes, very good. <coughs> now, now, so how you got this 4, sir? Tell me now. How you got this 4? Division of 4 to some number. How you got this 3? Division of 4 to some number. How you got a, a how can I get this 8? Division of 4 with some number. So here I am just using the same data 375 by 25. Here work out on the last two numbers. If last two digits are 75 means it is indicating reminder is 3. Previously here you divided with 4 for all these things. So here other than last two digits to the remaining number multiply with 4 
थ्री फोर जार टूवेल रिमाइंडर इज थ्री आंसर इज फिफ्टीन विथ योर पर्मिशन ऐ कैन यूज वन मोर डाटा फ्रॉम दैट एट ट्वेंटी फाइव बै ट्वेंटी फाइव यस एट ट्वेंटी फाइव बै ट्वेंटी फाइव लास्ट टू नंबर आर् ट्वेंटी फाइव मीन रिमैंडर इज वन बट वाट इज एट इट इज अ रिसलट आफ् डिविजन आफ् सम नंबर विथ फोर सो मलिप्लै वि फोर मलिप्लै वि फोर एट फोर जा थर्टी टू रिमैंडर इज वन आंसर इज थर्टी थ्री इफ दिस इज क्लियर ऐ एम गोइंग टू एक्सटे द कॉन्सेप्ट ऐ एम गोइंग टू एक्सटे द कॉन्सेप्ट यस फस्ट आंसर इज फिफ्टीन सेकेंड आंसर इज थर्टी थ्री वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सर ऐम गोइंग टू एक्सटे द कॉन्सेप्ट नौ Yes, yes, very good, sir. I love you very good. All right, I'm just clearing this content now. All right, <coughs> now let us move on to the huge ratios. <coughs> you have to answer the questions very, very quickly without using any pen for separate calculations. Eighteen four za seventy two seventy five means. The remainder is three. Answer is seventy-two plus three seventy-five. Again, here I don't need these individual steps. I don't need this writing with four. Remainder three. Everything should be done in a single step, sir. Nineteen fifty by twenty-five. Nineteen four zero seventy-six. Fifty means remainder two. Seventy-six plus two. Answer is seventy-eight. Just for your understanding, I am giving this individual steps. I need this direct answer seventy-five and seventy-eight. Let me give one more example. Twenty-one, twenty-five by twenty-five. Now I am trying to give the direct answer. Twenty-one four za eighty-four. Twenty-one four za eighty-four. Twenty-five means remainder one. Answer is eighty-five. Answer is eighty-five. I hope it is clear to each and every person of this group. Yes or no? Yes, seventy-eight, eighty-five. Magna, it is not eight forty-one. Ma, please check it out. Sai Prano, very good. Eighty-five. Answer is eighty-five. Very good. Very good. So. I'll give some questions to you. Now you should answer the questions. You should answer the questions. I'm expecting the answers only from your side. I'm not going to help you for this. I'm not going to help you for this, sir. All right. So <coughs> let it be. Let it be. First question: seventeen fifty by twenty-five. Quick answers I need. Okay. Twenty-three seventy-five by twenty-five. One more. I just wanted to increase the level. One forty-two fifty by twenty-five. Of course, you won't get this much huge data in any exam, sir. Nothing to bother about it. But I'm just giving you, just to check your understanding about this concept. First answer: seventeen four za sixty-eight. Fifty means remainder two. Sixty-eight plus two seventy. Very good. Second answer: twenty-three four za ninety-two plus seventy-five means remainder three. Ninety-two plus three ninety-five. Very good. Most of the members giving the answers as seventy and ninety-five. I don't know, Pooja, how you got that sixty-six. Raviteja, there is no answer called five. Please check it out, Raviteja. Yes, yes, make it fast, make it fast. Don't waste the time, sir. Make it fast. Yes, yes. Let me solve the question. Let me solve the question. Last two numbers. Forget about the last two numbers. They are going to represent the remainder, sir. So seventeen four za sixty eight. Remainder is two. Fifty means remainder is two. But in examination, you should avoid this step, sir. Please don't waste the time in exam. Now, twenty-three four za, twenty-three four za, ninety-two plus three. Answer is ninety-five, sir. Here, 
142 fours are. If you know the tables, each and every calculation is simple to you, sir. If you know the tables, each and every calculation is simple to you. For suppose here, if I know, of course it is 142 into 4 I have to write without using the pen for individual calculations. If I know the 14 table, 14 fours are is 56, means 140 fours are, 140 fours are 560, 2 fours are 8. So in my mind I can calculate the answer as 568. Is this clear to everyone sir? If I know the 14 table clearly, if I know the 14 table clearly, here 140 fours are 14 fours are 56 140 fours are means 560 2 fours are 8 560 plus 8 568 so here i can write 568 50 means remainder to 570 i am very happy that many of you give the correct answer as 570 very good but you will never get this much huge data in examination but we are good at in the good at that in calculation of any number irrespective of its size right so this is the division with 25 sir again you may think that you may think that sir what if sir what if the given number is perfectly not divisible by 25 for suppose I am taking one simple example, sir. For suppose I am taking one simple example, sir. 1260 by 25. If you have already gone through any examinations, we are not getting any data like this. But we should be ready for each and everything in examination. Who knows? For this year, they may going to give the data like this. Okay? Okay, all right, all right. So it is not that much important, but it is better to know the things. Okay, all right. Now look at this, sir. 1260. Sir, I am just assuming in my mind. If it is 1250, wow, the number is very beautiful. I should have answered the question less than a second. Because 12 fours are 48, 50 means 2, 48 plus 2 answer is 50 if the last two digits were 50 the question should be very 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 easy one now my problem is because of this last two numbers that is 60 sir because my problem is 60 what is easy to you make it as same number for me for me 1250 is easy sir remove that 60 sir remove that 10 sir not 60 remove the 10 sir so answer is 50 similar to the 5 divisibility rule point point what is the reminder sir 10 is the reminder means if i am removing that 10 so the reminder is 10 point means it will become 100 100 by 25 the answer is 50.4 so similar to the divisibility with 5 rule we can apply the same concept in the divisibility of 25 rule also sir i am not interested to get in depth of this divisibility of 25 where it is not perfectly divisible because it is not that much important in examination point of view we are already running out of time so i just want to concentrate on other things sir i just want to concentrate on other things okay sir and again here i am not going to explain the divisibility of 125 also sir don't ask me that okay sir so this is the divisibility rule and there is one more rule there is one more rule for multiplication of 11 also sir by explaining this i'll move on to few more good concepts which are very very important in examination point of view okay sir so multiplication of any number with 11 sir irrespective of size of the number i can give the answer in a single step multiplication of any number with 11 sir please don't miss this concept sir if you have any works please try to postpone them be with me for more half an hour these tricks are very very important in examination point of view right sir let me start the things now let me start the things multiplication of any number with 11 let me give you initially 
few simple multiplications with 11 12 into 11 13 into 11 17 into 11 18 into 11 these are very basic questions sir actually multiplication of 11 means we can write like this 1 2 1 2 answer is 1 3 2 for two digit numbers it's okay sir but if the number of digits are going to increase it is not that much easy to answer this question sir so i am starting with a basic question i am starting with a basic question and i'll move on to the difficult questions only one thing sir start from right i am not interested to waste my time in explaining the unnecessary concepts only direct hint i am telling you if you need the proof we'll discuss it later so write the right side number yes add two digits two plus one three write the last number as it is start from right go to the left start from right go to the left so 3 is the last number 3 plus 1 is 4 last number is 1 7 is the last number 7 plus 1 is 8 last number is 1 8 is the last number 8 plus 1 is 9 first number is 1 like this we have to answer these questions of course it is very very easy ok ok alright now I am just going to increase the level of difficulty, sir. Okay? Alright. So, 235 into 11. Okay? Now, 1, 2, 4, 3, 5 into 11. So, these are my two questions. These are my two questions. We will look into that now. Okay, sir? Okay. Again, same procedure, sir. Nothing will change from right to left, sir. First, to write the right side number 5. Very good. At any time, only two digits, sir. Don't add all the digits. Only two digits. You should add only the two digits at a time. 5 plus 3, 8. Very good. 3 plus 2, 5. Any other number left out, sir? No other number is left out. So, write the first digit as it is. I hope it is clear to everyone. The answer is 2585. Of course, many of you give the answers. Right. Very good. Very good. Right. Come to the second question. Right to left every time. Every time right to left. First time writing the last number 5. Add only two digits. 5 plus 3, 8. 3 plus 4, 7. 4 plus 2, 6. 2 plus 1, 3. Make sure that there is no other number left out in that number. Yes, no other digit is left out. Now write the first number as it is. So answer is 136785. 136785. Don't get confused, sir. Ramu, 16785, you gave it like that. Please look into the question carefully. Answer should be 136785. Yes, Ramu, very good. Very good. Okay. Okay. Yes, I am coming to you. Yes. Please hold down. Okay. This is the basic level. This is the basic level. I am coming to that. Nothing to worry. Yes. Right. Right. I hope it's clear. I am just clearing this content now. Okay. So, the extension of this content. Let me take the simple example only initially. Extension of this content. Sir, previously... I took as I took it as 12 into 11 answer was 132 so here there was no carry while adding these numbers sir there was no carry while adding these numbers if there is a carry what we have to do what we have to do I am starting with a simple example 74 into 11 I am starting with a simple example 74 into 11 start from right go to the left start from right go to the left first number from right side 4 4 plus 7 11 it should be one digit 11 means it is 11 right first to the right side number here carry forward the remaining number 
carry forward the remaining number i hope it is clear to everyone sir i am repeating the procedure one more time here the problem is you are getting a carry first number is 4 as it is yes the answer is 4 as it is so nothing to worry about that sir so after that the problem is with the after that the problem is with the carry 7 plus 4 is 11 i am writing 1 here carry forward 1 any other number left out sir no other number left out usually we use it to write 7 here but here one more carry is there sir so 7 plus 1 answer is 8 sir 7 plus 1 answer is 8 sir very good sir so i am just uh, increasing the level now so just answer this question 89 into 11 right to left 9 so 9 plus 8 is 17 7 carry 1 no other number left out usually we have to write 8 but one carry is left out 8 plus 1 9 i hope it is clear to everyone i hope it is clear to everyone the answer is the answer is 979 very good sir very good sir so now i'm just getting into the question of yes uh, where is your question Okay, the question of yes was like this 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 into 11. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 into 11. Let me explain that one also. What was the question? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 into 11. Very good, yes. Thank you so much for giving this question. Alright, so the answer is the answer is unit digit from right to, to left to sir always write down the first number 9 nothing to worry and i can confidently tell you no examination in no examination you will get these type of questions but if you are working with this huge data in examination small data working will become very very easy sir working with small data will become very easy to you sir okay okay right in examination they are not providing the calculators sir mr patil in banking in any po calcis are not allowed in any cgl exam calcis are not allowed of course in cat you can use the digital calci in the system itself you can use it but in no other examination calcis are not allowed sir don't uh, dream about that right right so last number is 9 sir try to give the answer try to solve with me 9 plus 8 17 7 is here carry 1 8 plus 7 15 but carry 1 was there 15 plus 1 16 i am repeating sir i am repeating one more time with this i am going to end this model with this the model is going to be finished sir here this model will be finished just listen to me carefully first number is 9 9 from right to left 9 plus 8 17 carry 1 8 plus 7 15 but there was carry 1 15 plus 1 16 still there is a carry 1 in that 16 7 plus 6 13 plus 1 carry 14 still the same carry 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 5 11 11 plus 1 it is 12 still there is a carry 1 still there is a carry 1 yes or no sir make sure there is no other digit which is left out make sure there is no other digits left out no other digit so now usually you have to write to five usually you have to write five because every time you have to write the left side number but in addition to five there is a carry one so five plus one six in the confusion don't write five here don't write one here you have to write the first digit usually but if there is any carry you have to include that carry you have to include that carry so this is the trick of this is the trick of multiplication of any number with 11 sir this is the trick of multiplication of any number with 11 sir okay i think it is not clear to few of you so i'll just take the next question answer this question this is the last example ma please try to understand this is the last example i'm just taking it as 3, 8, 7, 4, 6 into 11. 
try to give the answers quickly make it faster make it fast <coughs> try to give the answers make it fast sir madhuri you are multiplying with 38000 into 11 it should not be 42000 please make sure that 426206 many members giving the same answer i hope it is the right answer 426206 426206 very good very good sir let me solve the question let me solve the question if it is not clear this is my last example sir please check it out with this question it should be clear to you yeah abi i'll mention your name also okay okay right start from right go to the left start from right go to the left right number is 6 add two digits every time 6 plus 4 10 sir reminder 1 sir 4 plus 7 11 sir 11 plus 1 11 plus 1 it is 12 sir carry one again 7 plus 8 15 sir but carry one was left out 15 plus 1 16 sir still there is a carry one 8 plus 3 sir 11 sir plus 1 sir 12 sir still there is a carry sir usually here here you have to write down the first digit as it is but here one carry left out so you have to add the first digit 3 with that carry 1 it will be 4 so answer is 426206 answer is 426206 <coughs> Four two six two zero six. So this is the way to multiply any number with eleven, sir. Now there are more beautiful concept in calculations. So let us work on that. My next question is, my next concept is, it is actually very very useful in data interpretation. I am going to explain more two concepts to you, sir. More two concept. Most probably these two are the last concept of the day. last concept of the day okay ranjan please check out both the questions ranjan check out the previous questions clearly i am just repeating the things 6 is there unit digit 6 so 6 plus 4 10 0 But the reminder is one because it is a ten. Now you have to write only one digit here. So six plus four is done. Now four plus seven, eleven. Carry one means it will become twelve. So two is here. My reminder is one. Next seven plus eight, fifteen. But carry is still like that. Only fifteen plus one, sixteen. Carry is again one. Now eight plus three is actually eleven. Plus carry is still like that. Only eleven plus one, twelve. Again carry one. So now here, usually you will write the first digit. So you have to write three only. But carry is there. So three plus one, that is equal to four, sir. Three plus one. Three plus one, that is equal to four, sir. Right, sir. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.